Hey, thank you for joining us over here at Generation X Youth Sports Network. I'm Jonah Willard along with Kimberly Bell. You usually see us on NBC6 every week. And so we're coming to you on the web. Exciting news. Yes. Great time over at the West Coast today. I got to tell you, a lot of action. A lot of action that we didn't anticipate would go down between the matchups between the South Florida teams yep. and the Southwest yes. teams as well. Again, big ups to the SWFYFL, the Southwest Florida Youth Football League. Excited to have them on board with the Generation Next fan. We've got some new Heisman Trophy candidates to look out for, some new top 25 teams to look out for, and again, that competition. I've seen some great things out of the South Naples Pirates today. They beat the Pompano Cowboys. We've got the Chiefs on the field. Yes. We got to watch the Lauder Hill Lions take on the Dunbar Rattlers. Lauder Hill Lions were a little too much for the Rattlers to handle across the board, but hey, it is that type of South Florida football. Absolutely. You keep tuned in here. We'll be tuning in some teams like the Gators. And let me tell you, the Gators have been doing it a long time, long time. Uh, affiliates yep. in the southwest area but in the south florida area they used to be an extreme league mm -hmm. so they've been dominating a long time yes. but they stepped their game up new league same results wins 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 and you know jonah let's just keep it real the state of florida pretty much whether north or south is going to produce great football talent so what would be different about the naples fort myers west coast area cannot wait to see some of these kids and what they do on this football field and jonah FBU. That's a great segue. We talk about the talent in Florida. Guess what, guys? In October and November is your opportunity to sign up for the national yes. championships. Sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Now it's your time to be on a national stage. Let me tell you, we got our tickets booked for I'm San excited. Antonio. I can't wait. We're ready to rock and roll. Hey, kids, don't miss your opportunity. Make sure you get all the information right here on MyGenX.com. And Kimmy, yes. what's going on on Monday on 99 Jams? You already know what time it is. Tune in to 99 Jams, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, as we give you the latest edition to our Heisman Trophy watch and do not forget this is so crucial you guys keep coming us up to us at the parks asking how can we get our kids nominated right. for the Heisman Trophy watch how can we vote it's all at mygennext.com log on vote that's how they're gonna win yep. and uh, that's the most important place for anybody to be right now mygennext.com and on Tuesday nights at 8 30 p.m. if you're not on who's next radio you're not anywhere guys tune in we'll catch up on all the updates from the top to four and we'll get ready for those FBU national yes. championships we'll talk about the kids that's making it and guess what jersey presentations are coming up soon you won't want to miss this you can be sporting your oh. fbu jersey only right here on gen x a lot of action coming up so kim monday yep. i'm gonna jams. tune in 99 sure jams do. absolutely they're gonna be tuning in to naples too download the app naples 99 jams hey guys keep it locked <laughs> always of course you know you've been rated g i'm jonah woolard kimberly bell <laughs> and keep the lock keep it locked that's right, Generation Next fam. It is your girl, Miss Kimmy, hanging out on the west coast of Florida in Naples with the founder and president of the Southwest Florida Youth Football League, a.k.a. the SWFYFL, Steve Quinn. Now, Steve, we've had a fantastic day here on the west coast. Tell me a little bit about why you guys came together and put these teams in place and created this new league. Well, first of all, thank you guys, Kimmy, for coming over here. You and Jonah and your whole team, you guys are professional. We've always wanted to hook up with you guys. We finally got a chance to do this. What a great day for you guys being over here. We're excited about that. As far as getting this lead together you know four or five years ago when I ran the Naples Gators I always envisioned of trying to get Collier County together as one and um, I always thought that youth football should be played at an unlimited level mm -hmm. instead of weight-based so when I moved away for a couple years uh, with FBU to work with them I started to see on a national level that more leagues and we're going to these unlimited type style of football and so when I moved back I was able to put this vision into place and actually start a league that actually what we thought would be a little bit better for the kids mm -hmm. give kids an opportunity to come out no matter what they weighed mm -hmm. and not wait to high school to play football and uh, it's grown and we have over a thousand kids playing football this year over 300 cheerleaders cheering so we're excited about where we're going especially excited about you guys coming over here and helping us get out on a national stage they now know what that South Florida football is all about and we continue to support you guys here on the West Coast can't wait to see the type of talent that you guys put out and uh, we want you guys to all make sure you keep it locked to Generation Next Awesome. We got, again, we, we're appreciative that you guys came over. Your whole team is over here. We're ready to take this to the next level. Go Gen Next. I love it. You heard the cosign. Next level, baby. It's Generation Next. Shit. 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 Shit.
continuing our coverage on the West Coast, the West Coast of Florida, that is. Got to tell you, talking about the Pirates that's been dominating all season, undefeated in the top five rankings in Generation X, this team is doing it and doing it big, the 12 and under. Coach Call, talk about a big win today over the East Side, you know, team that's doing great over from the best league. Talk about how you prepare for a team that you don't see on a weekly basis, but were really able to punch them in the mouth, basically, when they came over here to the West Coast. Well, Pumpano's a pretty good team. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, that we punched them in the mouth. They, they were pretty good. Um, these guys stay focused all year. I mean, they work hard for us, and, and they do a real good job. So we're real proud of the kids. We're still undefeated right now. We just want to keep that rolling. Absolutely. Now, two of those players that's really responsible beside the entire team rolling because you're talking about the offensive line, that these guys wouldn't get yards if they didn't block. Exactly. You're talking about And you're talking about that defensive line that stopped people from, from getting on the boards. Mm -hmm. But, of course, every team has some standouts. Go ahead and introduce number five over here real quick. Well, this is our heart and soul. This is Henderson Francois. This is going to be the future right here. Everybody look out for this kid. He's a great kid. He, he works real hard, and, you know, good things are going to happen for this young man. Mr. Francois, tell me what does it mean for your coach to really say those type of things about you, really just so you that you're accountable to this team. How does it make you feel that you know that you're a leader on this team? It makes me feel good. Like, I want to keep playing football. It makes me feel good. Now, besides playing football, when you get behind that quarterback and you see those linebackers in front of you and you know everybody's depending, those moms on the sidelines, dads at homes, depending on you to score, tell me what goes through your mind right before they snap that ball. Like, I just look around, get ready to run, stuff. Yes. <laughs> well, you hear it here on Generation X, it's all about getting ready to run. And Pirates are doing their things representing the Southwest Youth Florida football team. Hey, and then you know what? The Pirates have definitely been rated G. Generation X. Black, 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 black purple. purple.